my name is Orit, um, and I'm a mother of two. And uh, my friends always ask me for my recipes. And I thought, hey, why not share it with other people? And maybe they can um, have some yummy food on their table. Um, so I have a little cheat sheet here because it's my first video. So I just want to make sure I don't kind of make any mistakes as I go. Um, so I'm not a professional cook. So if some things are a little bit unclear, sorry. <laughs> So today we're going to be making a Persian meal called abgush. What's abgush? Abgush is kind of like a chicken soup, but Persian style. And in here I put um, garbanzo beans, white beans, different types of vegetables. All of these are completely optional. You can put other things that you may like in there. Um, also you can add a little more spices in there, make it a little more spicy. Um, and the garbanzo beans and the white beans here, I uh, left it overnight in water. That way when I want to cook it, it cooks faster. Instead of it taking four hours to cook, let's say, within two hours, it's ready to go. Now, let's begin what we're going to do first. Um, yesterday, the day before, I uh, pre-cleaned chicken and chicken bones. A lot of people uh, use regular meat. You can put that in there instead of chicken. Um, I like we like chicken thighs. You can use chicken breasts if you'd like. How do you pre-clean these? You put them in uh, hot boiling water, and you're gonna let it froth. You'll see all these foamy stuff come out, and it takes about five to ten minutes for that to happen. Then you drain it. You cool, and you pour cold water on top of it. And then you have to take the skin off of the chicken before you dump it in the pot for the rest of the cooking to be done. So let's start. I have a pot of um, water that's filled up halfway. Okay, let's turn this on here. So I'm just gonna simply dump the pre-cleaned chicken and the chicken bones. The reason we add chicken bones, you might say, ew, um, for us, it, it, it makes, uh, it gives it more of a flavor, of a chicken flavor. <clears throat> Let me turn this on, the light maybe. Okay, and then later on, um, after it's all done, or before you add some other contents in it, you can take the chicken bones out, and we'll do that a little later on. So I'm going to be adding a one tablespoon of turmeric in it, okay? And don't worry if you think, oh, am I, did I put enough? Is it enough flavor? You can later on add some more. I also have a teaspoon of garlic powder. Same thing, don't worry about it. If you think it's not enough, you can always add some more later. Now I have a tomatoes sliced up onions sliced up and my family loves carrots so i put a lot of carrots many people can put uh you can put bell pepper in there if you'd like or corn but we like to keep it very simple so we i just gonna dump that in here as well and potatoes my little ones like potatoes Put that in. See, I have to use a big pot because I got a lot of stuff to put in here. So, you know, you can just work with what, what you have and with your needs of your family. Now, we're just gonna let this come to a boil. And we'll be right back. Hi guys, we're back. So now, the abgush, it's boiling now, okay? And I'm going to be adding a teaspoon of a chicken consomme or chicken powder. And you can find this at um, Middle Eastern markets. I think I've also seen them at Ralph's. So you can go ahead and take a look and see. Now make sure you get chicken style. There's different other styles like vegetable style and beef style. But this is the one that I use for everything. Okay, I'm going to put that in here now be careful how much you put it can it's very it can be very salty 
So, you know, again, after it's cooking and everything, after about an hour, you can taste it and see how it is. And um, you can add more, more of the chicken powder or the turmeric or the garlic powder or add some more um, spices in there to give it a little kick. So that's how it's gonna be looking look like. See, it's a bit yellow um, because of the turmeric you added. Um, usually this should be good. If you add too much turmeric, it'll be too yellow and it may be a little bit too much of a turmeric flavor. Um, and so you might not like it. Now, after it's boiling and I add the chicken consomme, I'm gonna add my white beans and garbanzo beans. Again, this is optional. You can just put the garbanzo beans, you can just put the white beans, whatever floats your boat, okay? So I'm gonna add that in here. There we go, I'm gonna leave it at that, okay? And then, this is like the thing that everyone likes to have it with. This is called gondi. Now, it was frozen. That's what kind of looks weird. Um, <clears throat> I buy the pre-made um, version of it. At, uh, usually, most of the Middle Eastern supermarkets carry it. Um, what is Gondi? It has um, ground chicken breast in it with um, you know different types of seasonings and spices in there. And you know you make it kind of like a meatball shape and we toss it in here. My kids love it, so I try to maybe put, you know, two per kid or, you know, my husband and I like it too, so I put plenty and more, but right now I have four, so that's what I'm going to dump in there. Now, um, you can also make it from scratch, so if you look below, I'll have all the descriptions of how to make it, and um, I hope you, you like it. Yeah, you don't also, if you don't want to put the gondi in there, you don't have to. You can just put the chicken and, and you're good to go. Um, but the, this is a way that we like to make abgush. So I'm going to toss that in here as well. Give it a quick another mix here. And... That's about it for now. So you just let it simmer through, increase the temperature just a bit here, and um, you will come back within an hour and check it out and taste it and see if you need to add any more seasonings to it. And then, um, then, then you can take all the bones, the chicken bones out. And because um, when it cooks for a longer period of time, the bone tends to fall apart. So you don't want bones while you're eating it you know so try to take the bones out after about an hour usually the more you cook the bones with the in the in the pot the more flavorful it comes so if you leave the bone in there for more than an hour or two hours no harm done it's just that the bones may fall apart even more and so it might be a little difficult to take the bones out so again the more it cooks with the chicken bone the more flavorful it becomes like chicken sock chicken soup okay we'll be back Hey guys, okay, so now um, I let it simmer for um, about two hours and you know I tasted it in between and uh, it's ready to go. I left the bones in there because I wanted to cook a little bit longer and <clears throat> I just wanted to show you, so I'm just going to take a piece of the bones out. So it's fully cooked so you know it's very easy it can come off very easily and so i gotta be careful because of my kids i don't want them to swallow a bone so i'm going to be taking these out um you know a little bit a little bit later um sometimes also you may it may be a little bit too watery for you you can just uh take the lid off and raise the temperature up a little bit and let it let the liquid evaporate just a bit so that um you know until you're pretty happy with how much water it has we like to make it into kind of like a soup um so i just want some i want some water in there um <clears throat> and not evaporate it completely so i'm just going to leave that there now once it's you know you cook it for the two hours or so and you want to eat it you usually people like to pour it um, over rice or they can you can just eat it alone so the rice that i have that i use there's different brands okay you can get the buff money rice for example that they have at trader joe's um but we use big bulks of it so um in the middle eastern restaurants they have this one for example um and you know you just follow the directions on the back 
and you can cook it. Um, <clears throat> also, I like to put it in a, in a slow cooker, so they should have directions for that as well. So this is what I'm, I make it with, and I make a very, and the slow cookers make a very yummy, crispy rice at the end called tadik. So hopefully that can be another video someday soon that I can show you how to make that. So when the rice is fully cooked, you know, you know, like a regular rice, um, Persian rice isn't like Chinese rice where it's all sticky. It, you know, it has its own flexibility here. It's not sticky. So what we do is, so, you know, I, I've, I'm gonna leave the potatoes and stuff in for the kids, but you know, we just pour a good amount of the liquid like that over the rice, as much as you want, whatever you want, dump in there. It's your it's your meal. And then and then what we like to do is follow me this way. These are dried lemons, and you can also find these in the Middle Eastern um, supermarkets. I'm not sure if they sell these at Rao's or Vaughn's. This is what it looks like, whole. And what you do is you break it open, and instead it has seeds, you take the seeds out, and then you put them, you blend them in like a processor, and then they become crumbled like this. So it's a little bit, um, I guess um, it has a lemony kick to it, um, a nutty kick to it. And so we like to pour some of this on the food, or my husband likes to put um, lemon juice over it. And then you just, tastes good. So um, it's really good um, when it's cold outside. It's a comfort food. Okay, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I hope that I can make more videos for you guys. Um, also, my, my niece Gabby, um, she also has a YouTube channel as well uh, under Gabby Shirazi. Look below on, on, the, on the screen right now and you'll have the link there. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.